Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Medzi, and I speedrun this game in story mode. Specifically, normal difficulty. And, uh... What are we doing? Let's get some tunes. What are we doing? Um, and... It, it's kind of a weird thing speedrunning this game in story mode. Even this game in general. Because you can get... Like... You can get guides on, like, how to do moves, but not how to do specific levels. If you want to speedrun a specific level, you are given the tools on how to do tricks, and then for the level, good luck. Um, uh. And there's one or two tricks on story mode that I wish somebody would have given me a tutorial on. But, you know, I just had to figure it out. And I uh, figured right now would be a decent time to... Drop a big, hot, stinky load of knowledge. My roommates are in the other room playing games, so I'm not going to cramp their style, but I got to I gotta put this video out. I got this vigor to stream, man. Possibly this game might be one of the hardest games to speedrun, period. Uh, however, ain't the worst thing in the world. You can't figure it out with enough practice. Hell, I do it. That is the thing everybody says, but that is fucking true, where if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so... First thing I'd recommend doing is finding my keyboard. It's in my drawer. So, uh, the first thing I'd recommend doing is going to YouTube, getting off this video, fuck off of it and never come back to it. Um, but then I would recommend going to YouTube and looking up that, this playlist right here. Um, this is pretty much all the tools that you need to do tricks. I'm going to be saying stuff like MTS, momentum throttle, shift boosting. <laughs> I'm going to be saying all these weird things, and these are references to this. This is also what I'm getting at, where these are the tools that you need to speedrun anything in this game. And... Uh... These are the tools, and then I'm going to try to show you, like, roughly, you know, how you do them. How to do it. Um, I'm going to try to play the level casually. Uh, then I'm going to try to... Sorry, I'm trying to get that on my hands so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to try to speedrun the level speedrun. I'm going to try to just play it casually. Then I'm going to uh, do it just a little bit more advanced. I'm going to play the level three times. One, kind of casually. Just so you know like what, what it should look like when you play it. Yeah, anybody who plays the first time playing. Then I'm going to introduce one or two little crazy maneuvers. Then I'm going to do it how I do it. That being said, I am not uh, perfect. I kind of suck. <laughs> I am decent at the game, and that's kind of it. So don't uh, don't think that this is my way or the highway. Uh, please, uh, you know, please uh, gather some knowledge from this, but don't take this as the Bible. He just says like a. This is a one, two, three, four. One, I'm going to show you how you should play it, if like you know, how you would play it normally. And then two, a little more advanced. Three, how I do it. And then four, how you do it. 
this game is so crazy that you can kind of like f play how you want to play. So, stage one. Gotta collect all these little capsules right here. This is how you play casually. I uh, gotta get all these dang old capsules uh, and finish within a time limit. Uh, now these four right here, it's in a one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. So hopscotch. <clears throat> if you're playing casually, just crisscross applesauce, nothing crazy. Whoops, wouldn't do that, but crisscross applesauce, you know. And if you miss one, it ain't the end of the world. I miss them all the time. And I got boost power. I gotta tell myself to <laughs> slow the hell down. I'm trying to be casual here. Uh, on normal, this is fucking easy. Don't even worry about it. The uh, reason why I was like, oh, I wouldn't do that, because uh, I used a technique to kind of correct myself. Um, but the point that you should be getting at for this stage... Be in a constant boost state. Never let go of that. Just constantly rip on that Y button. Never let go. Art folds up. Tutorial stream. Um, this should be probably one of the easier levels that you do. This is kind of your intro. It's you're not gonna you're gonna you can watch this stream. You can watch other people. You can do anything. When you pick this game up, you're gonna kind of be a little uh, wishy washy. You're gonna have to reset a few times. This game is fucking weird. This game is a modified monkey ball engine that was crammed into a speed, into a racing game. It's fucking weird. But, uh, yeah, you get the hang of it. Just keep playing every now and then. It's also a great game to play, kind of. It's a great game just to play, you know, on your off time. Um, but after you beat that, you can go into Chapter 2. How you go into Chapter 2, by the way, is you go into the main menu and then you go to the garage, I think it is. And then item shop, and then you have to buy the next chapter. Strange. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. Ain't the worst thing in the world. So, introducing a little bit more advanced things. I think I would recommend... Um, probably edge boosting and cornering. Uh, if you know some momentum throttle where you let go of the A button or quick turning, that's awesome. And I would I'd actually recommend learning those two things first. Uh, but, you know, intermediate, we're kind of getting there. Uh, this level is very good for the uh, turns on 2 and 3, or turns 1 and 2. You know, it's not going to save that much time, but, you know, NASCAR fan over here. Stick as close as you can to the corners, and uh, while you're at it. What was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, edge boosting. So, as you probably learned in Nugleria, the corners of the boost plates have, like, weird properties where you get... A little more juice if you kind of squeeze the corner of them. D uh, don't don't ask. Hang on, that was a quick turn. I shouldn't do that. Um, don't ask. We don't, we don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> we, uh, the community doesn't fucking know, huh? But uh, recommend starting it out with cornering, edge boosting. Uh, if you can learn. Uh, quick turning. Do that shit as soon as possible. So you gotta get into those good habits. Uh, would also recommend for speaking of good habits, um, this here crisscross applesauce. Would recommend starting to do what is it? Uh, the left side on on lap one. Do the left side, center, and then quick turn back, and then do the left side again. Then on lap two, get the two in front of the boost plate and then get more shields. The last one, get the last capsules, then get more shields. The idea is that you want to be as smooth as possible, clean as possible, and keep your shields up as much as possible. The stage, the goal is to remain in a constant boosted state. Um, I forget where I was. Um, but I would say that's, you know... This game is also feathering. You're going to be feathering a lot. Uh, so if your controller is a little crispy, I'd uh, recommend uh, getting that shit sorted out. 
I rock a battle beaver, uh, great controller, but whatever your 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 doohickey is, you rock that shit. Ain't no judgment. But recommend you get a controller that where you can feather it very well. So uh, intermediate, I'd recommend edge boosting and cornering. If you can squeeze in some quick turning and some momentum throttling, hell yeah. But uh, you know we're doing baby steps here. You aren't gonna learn this shit overnight. Um, but now I'm gonna be showing you how I would do it. Um, I'm gonna be introducing momentum throttling, some quick turning, and a rail slide at the end. Now, Glory, I had a video about that. I don't think this edge boost at the very beginning helps that much, but, you know, I guess habits. Get through here. And again, this game is so... I would say this is open-ended, so you can kind of do whatever you want. If you want to skip those boosts at the beginning and just focus on cornering, fuck yeah. There's a runner called Brave. Uh, and he, like, overly values boosts, and it fucking shows, dude. He'll be playing anything, and he'll just be going. What a guy. He's also part of the Japanese community. And a cool quirk is that the Japanese community does not use side attacks. Why? Uh, cool, though. Um, roughly those times shown, roughly speaking, those are kind of what you should be aiming for. At least that's my par. Um, you have to, like... You can either go off of your PB, because this game will save it. Um, by the way, I don't run specific levels. I just play, and these are my PBs that I get. Um, you can go off of, like, your PBs and then just rock that, or you can go off of averages, which is what I do. Uh, it really don't matter that much. Uh, so, this stage. This is a very fun stage. Um... God, these cutscenes are just great. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube. Uh, CGN. Uh, you know, he's just maybe a fucking legend when it comes to this game. Are you recording the tutorial stream? Uh, yes, sir, I am. I'm going to be uploading it. I'm going to download and specifically upload it. But, CGN. Uh, that Mamma Jamma is a fucking legend. Uh, really recommend looking up his stuff, because he's great. Crazy game nerd. Anyways. He has all these cutscenes in, like, as upscaled as he can, and it's it's beautiful. I learned this from the guy in chat, Artful, right now. By the way, world record holder on very hard. Shout out to Artful. Kisses, kisses. Love you. But in one of the scenes, Samurai Goro's sword disappears, and it just comes right back. I never I never noticed that. Anyways, um, Artful Hobbs. I call him Artful Hobbies, because I just see an E, and Hobbies kind of rolls off the tongue, but, you know. I'm also stupid. Anyways, so this stage. It's a A to B level where you need to you start at A, get to B, and then you're done. It isn't a traditional lap. Uh this stage is where you're going to <laughs> pattern recognition. And I haven't done this stage casually in so long that I kinda forget my pattern, but I hope it comes back to me. Um The only real techniques that you could use on this map is Oh, real quick, let me show you. So, oh man, he's in front of me. He's really in front of me. I'm going to boost to get up to him. Yay, loser, I'm in front. I shouldn't have emptied right there. And then he's going to swoop in. Eventually. This is working. I promise you this doesn't work. He's going to fling in front of me. I hate how this is working. I think he's hitting rocks. Well, I just hit a rock. What I'm getting at here is, when you were first playing this stage, don't boost until you get to uh, roughly the end of the map. Because he's going... He, that, the meme is that he's tuckering his machine out, staying in front of you, and that at the very end, you swoop in, you swoop in and steal first place. But, um, yeah, these boulders that are falling down, they are actually fixed. So if you know where you're going, you can swoop in and... Uh, do some very fun, fun little close calls. Like, check this show. Ah. 
Right in the puddle. This is actually really fun playing this casually. <laughs> Man, you guys got it made, dude. This is fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is just pattern recognition. You're not going to do this shit when you first play, dude. You're going to be nailing these boulders and falling off. Um... And by the way, if you're playing this, I quick turned right there, I shouldn't have done that, sorry. Um, if you're playing this and you're trying to win and you just cannot wrap your head around this level for some reason, just keep trying because Goro will do that and he will get fucked over by one of these boulders eventually. He'll just fucking die instantly. Oops. Yeah, but I'm... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> uh, you get the point, though. You can, you can nail rocks and you can do that shit. Anyways. So to practice this stage intermediately, we gotta go back. I'll play some shitty games that suck ass. I think it's here in Emerald, Emerald Cup. No. Diam Diamond. Yes. Gotta get this stage. Uh, I think you have to beat the previous cups on Intermediate to unlock this cup. I don't remember. Anyways. Um, go to Sand Ocean Lateral Shift. Captain Falcon. Specifically Captain Falcon. Um, and this is the scary this is the scary part, okay? We're gonna be learning shift boosting. This is the scariest, hardest fucking trick in the game. We're gonna be learning it. Lateral shift is shift is. It is hanger from Tony Hawk. It is just an open field, gentle ledges. Everything leads into each other. It's okay, but it's gonna, it's gonna be a little scary. Um, Naglieri explained it, but you're gonna be kind of learning, learning how uh, you're gonna be rocking this shit. Blink. I actually think I missed it right there. Oh, don't shift boost up. Oh, you can, but it's going to be way harder. Way fucking harder. So when you're learning this on the stage, don't do that one. The next one is a little bit easier because it's going down a hill. So you have a huger margin of error. Essentially, if you do this one right here, you have like maybe two frames to do it. If you do the next one that goes downhill, you're going to have like a solid seven frames to rocket. So... Also, keep that in mind when you're running. Uh, whoops. Keep that in mind when you're running. Uh, it's more dangerous to go up than it is to go down. But when you're running, you're, <laughs> your eyes are going wide at the idea of speed. There you go. And uh, don't don't worry about the MT. Don't worry about letting go of the A button. We're just getting an idea of how uh, how you should be off the stage for a little bit. Right now, you aren't learning, like, the L and R's. You aren't learning this thing. You're just kind of getting used to the idea of going off stage for a second and getting a bunch of speed and, like, what, like, the floor should look like, like, around your ship when you do it, what your speed should feel like. We're just getting an idea of it. We're just getting used to the idea. We're whining and dining before we 69 in. Okay, so... Do that for a little bit. Boot camp yourself on that for just a little bit. And then we are going back in. God, I really got to pee. We're going back in. So, uh, when you are playing casually, when you aren't doing shift boosting, you're just going around the blocks. Uh, I failed, so I have to explain this. Uh, your time should be like 120, 125. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Roughly speaking. Uh, and when you start shift boosting, your speed should be like 110, one minute, 10 seconds. Uh, this is also the scary part. We're going to be using the LNRs. Uh, I use the stick, even though I, I believe I am objectively wrong in using the stick, but it's just how I learned and I can't unlearn it. Um, but when you are first learning, the more speed you have, the easier it is to do it. So 
even in my runs, I speed, I boost two times. Some people are crazy and they do three or one. Depends, but regardless, when you're starting, boost to get your speed up. And then just use the LNR buttons. Try to... Hup. Humana. Hup. Hup. It's real scary. You can do it on just straight areas if you want, but... What I'm doing is I'm hitting the R button, and then I use the L button to really make sure that I get back on. Uh, recommend like the straight areas when you're first learning. When you're first learning, like do this like three fucking times. Uh, by the way, shift boosting this stage should probably be like the middle to last thing you learn. It is the most scary, but you know. We're just perusing. We're not uh, going crazy yet. It's going to take so long to build up the muscle memory for shift boosting. Whoops. Like, you are going to be learning and getting the muscle memory down for fucking ever, dude. Like, like you're going to be <laughs> cheated, by the way. Um, like, it is going to take so long, and it seems like you can't get the idea of just... But, dude, keep trying. Keep going at it. You'll get it. Just keep rocking it. I Do what I'm doing. If you're watching live right now, I got some tunes going on right now. I got some fucking... I got a bladder full of pee. <laughs> but just, you know, music's fantastic. But, you know, just get some tunes going. Get in a voice call with your chums. And just try to, try to get the motion down. Don't worry about the A button thing. Worry about that later. Just motions R, let go, and then L with a little bit of stick to the left. Objectively, that is wrong. You should just be cranking on the L and R buttons for maximum speed, but we're just learning. Again, there's four steps to this. Beginner, intermediate, what I do, and then what you should do should be after that. I'm just trying to give you a... I'm just trying to scoot you toward the fourth step. But, now that we got an idea... Go ahead and try to do this. I'm going to reset so many fucking times. Uh, uh, dude, by the way, ask fucking Artful, who is world record holder on very hard. Just a reminder again. Uh, ask CGN. I think CGN kind of, he's, he's living off the grid right now, dude. I can't count. No one can contact him. But I was there when CGN got world record on this stage. You're going to reset 5 billion times, dude. You're going to reset so fucking often. Okay? Let me see if I can't convey this to you. You see that shit right there? Next to fucking story mode, max speed, and then that number? That is the amount of resets. That's probably like two-thirds of my actual attempts. And like... Probably 1,200 of those are fucking this stage. <laughs> like, don't get discouraged. This is the chump check. Just don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> if you can do one shift boost with LNR, you are on... You're cruising, dude. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, start in incorporating the A button. Start incorporating the fucking A button to keep that shit up. Start doing a little more crazy shift boosts. Like, there's some spots that I would not recommend doing it on. It's just a little scary. I'll try to get those out right now. So this corner is a little bit gradual enough to where you can do it on the first, like, two-thirds of it. This corner? Nope. Here, you can squeeze in about four. Like three or four, and then you just want to make sure you have enough speed to make that turn. It's also a cliff enough to where you can get something called like a double or even octuple shift boost, where this is happening like once. I'm getting speed. For some fucking reason, you'll gain like a billion percent speed. It's great when it happens, because you feel like you got high octane blood, but it can fling you right off. You can't squeeze in one right here if you want, but... 
dangerous. If you start doing this thing where like you shift boost and like you'll skid and you cannot get your you cannot gain your uh, grip back. Oh, here by the way, the tiny little gradual curve makes it to where you pretty much don't need to use the stick. Um, that little corner right there before the giant turn, fucking crank it out, dude! Don't even touch the stick. Um. Pretty much the huge main curves, the two big ones that we're looking at right there. I'd say actually a three or four of them. Uh, wouldn't recommend ship boosting there, but you can. Uh, there's an even more advanced technique. Let me see if I can't do it. Let me see if I can't do the artful here. Um, I don't do it just because it's not how I want to play the game, but it's objectively wicked fast. Let me see if I can't do it. On those corners where you can't really ship boost, he will uh, slide. So he goes like, one, two, bada, bing. Uh, he does it a lot smoother and better and cooler, but that's what he rocks. And it looks, he goes fucking fast, dude. And then when he's done, he like feathers the stick. By the way, when you do a slide like that, you crank down on the slide button and then use your stick like maximum to get maximum speed, but you can kind of feather it. You won't go as fast, but you can feather it to kind of vaguely control yourself. It's worth it to lose a little bit, bit of speed and control yourself than it is to nail a wall and just lose everything. Um, but the main corners wouldn't shift boost. Uh, either MT boost by them or, you know, what have you. Now, this stage. that that By the way, Chapter 2 is probably going to be like one of the last stages that you truly master. Chapter 3. There's a lot of crazy, crazy tricks in this shit. Um, but it can't be done. This is also the stage that I wish there was a tutorial on. Um, story mode doesn't have that much attention on it. Probably because it is such a weird, weird category. Objectively speaking, it's kind of weird. Um, so... I might be doing this trick objectively wrong. There might be an objectively faster way to do all this shit, but I'm really just trying to get some of the info out there. God, Falcon has such a fat ass. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah, I'm teaching. Uh, anyways, um, this is also where you're going to, at least for my, how I do it, I see without seeing. I have sight beyond sight. Um, you got to figure out what works for you, man, but... For me, like, instinctually counting the texture on the floor kind of helps me line up uh, how to do something kind of fancy. But uh, this stage, I don't know, man. This stage is kind of tricky. You might be able to learn it pretty well, but it is certainly tricky. Um... I would practice this stage before I practice fucking chapter 7, dog. 7 is hell. I would say, objectively, 7 has the hardest trick in the game. But, anyways, so... There is somebody behind you who goes faster than you. Or has, like, whatever kind of fucking setting set up. Whatever speaking, they go faster than you. So what you can do is you can kind of just barely shimmy yourself to the right, I think. And you'll get something called a back boost off of them. It's pretty fun to check shit out. Just barely shimmy yourself to the right. Just barely. Bink. <laughs> Bink. <laughs> Thanks, loser. I shouldn't have quick turned. Sorry, hang on. Um... I think if you're playing casually, you should get, like, a 120, 125. Uh, I would say these these jumps right there, those are really going to... That's your speed jump right there. That's your advantage that the AI doesn't have. Uh, by the way, when you jump, pull back on the stick, like, at the very end like that. It'll kind of help you preserve speed. Whoops. Wrong button. It'll kind of help you, yeah, I'd say preserve speed. I think it's the right one. Uh, 
Also remember that sometimes your speed is a little bit of a detriment if you can't make a turn because you're going so fast. Then what the fuck's the point? You can boost through this uh, dirt. Nice. And you'll be just fine. Uh, this stage is not like stage one where you need to be in a constant boost state. You can. But, uh... The main point is not to fucking fall off like an idiot. Uh, main point is just to keep yourself decent speed-wise. But those jumps are really is what's going to fucking fling you over. When you're playing casually, uh, get in the habit of feathering and cranking down on the L and R buttons. I know this is really easy for me to say because I've been speedrunning this game as well as when I've been playing it since it came out. Um, but this game can be a little tricky if you haven't touched it before. Or if like you come from like any other racing game. Because this game doesn't really control like any other racing game. I promise I didn't quick turn there if you looked at my right mingy. It just happened. I, I think there's like... A ridiculous number of uh, movement aug augments, so. <laughs> I can say I didn't do that, but advanced techniques will just come to you. If you play on max acceleration, you're probably going to be snaking without realizing it. Mark those jump plates. If you miss one, don't worry about it. If you crank the wall, don't worry about it. 130. Awesome. Awesome. But, uh, you know, when you're casually playing, try to rock that. Remember to get into those jump plates. You say rock. Um, when you're... Uh, yeah, I think you should do it. When you're intermediate, I would try... The biggest trick I'd try to learn is... Momentum throttle sliding, which is that slide shit, in certain spots, and uh, I'd say rock that that little corner shift boost. I think I'd go for it, man. Uh, what I'm getting at is like you know that corner that I jumped on, and then there was no walls. Uh, lateral shift. It's just a lateral shift move. Um. I think I would rock it. I think I think it's uh I think it should be easy. Problem is is that you have to do it almost blind. Um Let me see if I can't rock it. Let's, let me see if I can at least pause to show you how I do it. I also quick turning. I I'd say you got time. What am I talking about here? Uh rock one, rock two. Rock one, cannon two. Right here. Power slide. And bang it out. With that, I didn't feather the stick. I could feather it the other way to like widen myself to make sure I hit that corner. Or to make sure I clear the corner. But that was full crank. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty damn good corner to learn. You can also do it right here too, but when you exit a, a slide, you kind of lose your speed. Boosting while shift boosting rockets your speed up even more. Just remember to let go of the A button, but I don't think I would focus on that right now. The A button thing. I, it's great having to get into, but right now, just worry about seeing that corner in such a short time and hitting it. Also quick turning, keeping up for speed, blah, blah, blah. And bada bing, bada, boom. Look at that shit. If you're learning and you rock that, buddy, <laughs> mind the presence of a god. If you can do that shit, you feel so good, dude. Just nail the corner, land, slide. And it's, it's, 
if you're watching this video and you're here, you can nail that shit, dude. Really will not seem like it, but you can. Stage three. Oh, sorry, lap three. You're going to have just a little bit less shields than you would like around this corner. So this is a point where you can, or at least I think it's viable, to slide around. Because you don't have that much shields to, like, preserve your speed. That one I did kind of feather the stick a little bit just to widen myself. I like to preserve a boost for that. I shouldn't have done that, sorry. So, bada, bing. Oh! Okay, well, I hit the wall. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's about five seconds off. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what did we learn there? We practiced quick turning a little bit. We practiced sliding. And we refined the lateral shift shift boost. Now it's time to slam dunk bring all this shit together. Are you ready for the, the jump? The jump. This is the thing that I wished fucking... Ah... Uh, I wish this was a fucking video or something because I had to learn this just by looking at somebody else doing it. It was so goddamn hard. And even still, there's other ways people can do it. Like if you watch Zero Ken, Zero Ken on a Japanese uh, Games Done Quick kind of stream. Oh, I forget the name. Zero Ken, he's a Japanese runner and he does the jump, but he does it like so differently. It looks fucking awesome, dude. Um, but. You can do this technique, the one that I figured out, or I guess perused. Uh, you can do this shit without uh, side attacks, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so, uh, sliding into the... How high you go on a jump plate is determined by your speed. So you can slide into a jump plate and go you get your uppies way higher, which allows you to go down and build up more of your speed and then pull back and then kind of preserve it. Um, however, me being an idiot and I also hate sliding, I choose to rock this and then rock that. That is fucking tricky. <laughs> You're going downhill, but it is going to be fucking tricky. You can squeeze in another one at the corner right before this turn. You can squeeze in another. As well as you can squeeze in one. Fuck, I missed it. But like that corner where the wall comes in, you can't squeeze in another, but you're gonna hit that wall and fall off. It's really fucking tricky. Anyways, I'd recommend just rocking two. If you miss the lateral shift style shift boost, just peruse down and pretty quickly either rock one or if you're crazy, rock two. Uh not as hard as it... Well, okay, it's hard, but, like, viable. It's doable. If you're like me and you hate uh, sliding, uh, you can side attack into a jump plate. And if you get the timing just right, the quick jut of speed you get when you side attack will transfer into the jump so you can go up even higher. Uh, very strange. This game is very strange. I, for some reason, I judge my time when I get off of that recharge plate. I guess it's just like a quicker, immediate way of determining if I'm doing it or not. Uh, objectively, that is a stopwatch, but I don't know. I just like the thing. To preserve my shields, I kind of do that, and then boost right there. Miss it because I'm a loser. Hang on. So what the fuck happened there? Okay. So. Uh, on the jump. On the jump plate that has the recharge plate. I boost off of it. Because if you boost on a recharge plate. Versus you boost. Or versus you not boosting on a recharge plate. You're going to gain. Charge at the same exact time. At the same exact rate. So fucking boost on that shit. But. On that jump plate. I go up. And then when I see that I am parallel with the dirt, 
I start boosting. And then I can boost three times. And then momentum turbo slide into that jump plate. You're going to get launched in the air. Uh, and air controls are weird. Pretty much if you are not holding the A button, you're facing forward and you're using the L and R and the things. You're going to go forward and down. Uh. Primarily forward, but you're going to go down too. If you hold the A button, you're going to go primarily down with a little bit of forward. Engage that slide. It's going to be fucking tricky. Just keep rocking it. You'll do it. Uh, let me see if I can't visually explain this with... Uh... Uh, I kind of fucked that up right there. Uh, I think normally I rock that boost kind of quicker. And then slide around and then empty right here. So, see if I can't. So I'm parallel with the dirt. So I'm going to chain the A button and boost. I don't need to worry about the dirt because I'm boosting. So I'm not going to lose speed inside of the dirt. I got to get out of it pretty quick though. Don't want to restart. One, two, three. Slide into that thing. Uh, pretty much as soon as you get out of the quick turn and you're parallel with the wall. Just a tiny little bit after you're done with the wall, I think, is when you want to start sliding. Um, now, now that I'm here, I was holding L and right on the stick. And the second I hit that thing and I know I'm in the air, I'm going to be holding L still. And rock forward and forward and left. So slide into it, and then when I get into the air, still hold the L, but hold the other button or the other direction. I'm going to try, I'm sort of parallel to it. This is kind of freeform. You gotta have to just feel it out, dude. Mainly, you wanna be facing forward, like facing down, and you're gonna be using L and left and R and right to kind of like. Eh, 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 your way forward. The checkpoint that you want to hit is way harder than you think it is. It isn't exactly where you think it is. Let me see if I can't cruise this shit. You can side attack if you want. Um, I'll try to do it again without side attacks just to show it's possible, but for right now, I think I'm going to do it because I'm constantly pausing. So, forward and left, holding the L, side attack. Or, no side attacks right now because I don't want to lose. I don't want to. I don't want to go down. I want to go forward, so I'm not going to hit the A button. But the second I hit the A button, I'm going to start side attacking. So, uh, again, I wish I could play this in like three billionth speed so I can properly explain this shit. Or well, I had a capture display. This is the best you got. Sorry. The <sighs> okay, this fucking checkpoint. Fuck this checkpoint. So this checkpoint isn't like that like corner of the rail. Why am I pointing? You can't see. It isn't like the corner of the rail that you kind of think it is. It's a little bit behind it. You can kind of see like the texture. <sighs> Where do I explain that? How do I explain this? You see the zero on my fucking like the the 10 minute spot, the 10 minute hand. It's pretty much right there. Just like it's just a smidge, like where the white begins on the zero on the ten spot. Uh, so, and also it is lower than you think. It is lower. It is pretty much the top of the red. The easiest way to do this is land like anywhere on the left side of the ten spot checkpoint free game anything on the right of it you're gonna just blow up instantly um so how i would do it is i would make sure that i'm really in the safe zone and then roughly when i'm getting pretty down there crank on the right and side attack i always like matrix the fucking corner but it's it's better just to risk nailing that thing rather than fucking dying so now that i'm here 
uh, R and left, A button, boost, because I got a little bit of boost left, and side attack. I'll do it again without side attacks, but uh, let's rock it. And then rail slide. You know, there's my time. I think one, like 113 or so, 112 is like pretty damn good par. Let me see if I can't do this again. Same exact thing with outside attacks. Without side attacks, you aren't going to go as high up on jump plates. And you won't be able to control yourself as quickly on the floor. Um, you can compensate with momentum, momentum slides. Uh, but in terms of left and right, you just have to really make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, but, you know, there's a... There's a Grand, lovely people out there who choose not to have side attacks. So you know what? See what I can do. Well, let me see what I can do to help y'all out. No side attacks. No side attacks. Oh, speaking of side attacks, if anyone wants to, um, objectively, it is quicker to. quicker to have your side attack button on B, but I think, I don't know, man. I don't want to change this shit. Three. Okay, I almost had that shit. One second, one second, one second. Maybe. That was a shitty time, but I also... I fucked up stage one because I was talking and not paying attention super well. And I nailed the wall. But it is super possible with outside attacks. Hell yeah. Not a good time to show off that it's possible with outside attacks, but... Hey, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be right back. I really, really need to pee. This is making it in the tutorial. Oh, damn, my ass. Okay. Fuck this stage. <laughs> uh, there really ain't much I can do to help you out on this stage. It's just fucking boring. Well, there is, but it doesn't... This is Michael Chain. If you look at his ship right now, really look in there. You can also see at the end stage. At the end, um, Z button, by the way, to pull up subtitles. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure he's the only character who has a uh, he has a boombox in his fine <laughs> racer. <laughs> to be fair, look at me. I'm fucking. I'm. I refuse to touch this game unless I got Kenny Loggins playing. Anyways, so when you're first going on the stage, 
I don't even think I can recreate how you do on the fucking first stage, but fucking kill everybody. Side attacks, spin attacks. Uh, rock it as you please. These guys are a little squishy. This is the only real part of the game that I would really recommend going out of your way to kill people. Uh, oh, th something to note is that when you kill somebody, when you a retire a machine, Jesus Christ, <laughs> that sounded way better than I thought. Uh, when you retire a machine, you gain a little bit of shields back. So there's a little bit of a risk and reward for, uh, like, oh, I'm low, I'm super low on HP, but I could boost a little bit, be in this state. By the way, when you spin. You are practically invincible from other machines. Don't uh, take that literally, but you have a lot of defense against other sh other ships when you are spin attacking. Objectively, it is faster to side attack, but you know whatever it takes. Oh, um. I guess when you're first starting out, I, I would honestly recommend killing everybody. This game is not a death race game, so it is a little tricky. This guy, I... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I think I would recommend... Uh, I guess spin attacks. Spin attacks, side attacks. He's both of your, your shindigs. He has a lot more shields than the other guys. Also, you don't need to have momentum with spin attacks. The more momentum you do have, the better you'll do. But uh, you know, don't don't sleep on the old the old uh, somebody's behind you pressing into you and then you spin attack on them. But that's roughly how I would recommend when you're first starting. Keep an eye on your boosts because you might fucking run out of boosts before you know it. Killing people gives you a little bit more shields back. See, look, he has a fucking boombox. <laughs> it's awesome. And look at me, I ain't touching this fucking game unless I got the Phil Collins playing. Also, his finger clips through the his finger clips through his little visor thing. Windshield, not a fucking visor. Anyways, um. So there really is like only one or two little tricks I can show for this map. There really ain't much you can do. Um, be mindful of your momentum throttles. Uh, and we're going to be killing Michael Chain before we kill everybody. He slows down at the last 5,000 miles. 5,000 meters, whatever. I'm, I'm from America. I'm not built for these here meters and centimeters and shit, dog. Um, but, so, these Mamma Jammas right here, <laughs> that's a really weird place to, um, but, these Mamma Jammas right here, they have not that much shields, and they are programmed to stay in front of me, so that means we can do a little bit of, of manipulation with these, these Mamma Jammas. So, one, three, three, two, one start you have boost power it is all on a rhythm and i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this so you can kind of get an idea of the rhythm i'm rocking here but the second you got boost power shows up boost three times and then get close to that wall and momentum throttle then after just a little bit of time when you start seeing them blink red boost and the first guys you have to use your spin attack to nail them but then after that, everyone in front of them, you can just tap them and they explode. Check this shit out. One. Oh, these guys? Yeah, ignore them. They're nothing. Nothing throttle. I see them blinking red. Boost. Boost. Spin attack. Bam, bam, bam. Clean up. And then these guys? Dead. Dead. You can just bump into them. 
And I'm gaining a lot of shields just by bumping into him because it's technically a kill. So you can kind of keep your speed way the hell up. They can still set attack. So be very mindful of that. Roughly, I try to rock when there's about seven people left. That's when I start being like, all right, I'm in the clear. Uh, usually, you want to try to keep your... You want to get as much out of your boosts as possible. So I kind of fucked up a little bit. I should have used my boost a little more. But I wanted to make sure that a lot of folk were out before I started boosting. What I'm getting at is before that charge plate, I still had a lot of boost to use. Uh, I should have stretched that a little farther, but that's you know, all good. Oh, and your chapter one, your feathering and your cornering. It's not going to save that much time, but there really isn't that many advanced techniques you can do on this map. So, when there's about 6,000, I like to rock one boost. Don't know why. I guess just to make sure I'm clear distance-wise. So mainly, you want to do side attacks. He's If you keep your speed up, and you rock some good side attacks, he's a little bit more squishy than you think. Do this for the fans. 146. Pretty damn good par. I think... What time have I gotten before that? I think it was like a 142. Uh, the only like advanced things you can do on that map... Yeah, I guess. The only like advanced things you can do on that map is if you bump into somebody, you'll get a shift boost. Don't ask how. Don't ask why. I don't know. This stage. This stage is going to be your chump check. The only thing I can say to recommend is two things. One, three things. One, you do not need every single capsule. Don't, don't hyper focus on them. Are you all right? Uh, and remember chapter two. Remember your pattern recognition. You're gonna be going bada bing, bada boom a lot. Just remember, remember your training, and also look at the spaghetti. Uh. <laughs> How'd they fit all that hair into one little disc? Yeah, <laughs> That's fucking gross. <laughs> you, you can't find hair like that anymore, man. It's great. Uh, but, don't target fixate. Remember your training, pattern recognition, and remember the spaghetti. Uh, this is all pattern recognition. When I do this, I honestly go through the motions. Uh... Also, your, your boost. Remember to stay in your constant boost state. So, four. One. Two. Three. Four. A little bit to the left. And then slingshot around to the right. You don't need everyone. Just stay right here. Feather down. But, uh, bing. Bada bing. Whoops. If you need to slow down just a little bit, it's okay. We're just, uh, you know, this is roughly what your first attempt should look like. And then right here, this is fucking weird, dude. I don't know what the hell is going on with this gate, but sometimes you'll just get clipped on it. The only thing I can recommend is holding forward. But, <laughs> dog, sometimes you'll just, sometimes you will just jump and then just nail the door and then just fall down. If that happens, don't worry about it. If you have time, scoot around and then just peruse your way out. Uh, again, there really ain't that much better time you can save on that map. Uh, best thing you can do is MT boost, which I'll do again. I just want to see... Uh... <laughs> I just want to see that. That makes me happy. This game really was like they got a motion capture suit and we're like, we. <laughs> uh, this game's fun. Anyways, uh, the only thing different I'm really gonna do is empty boost and try to uh, be a little more clean. When you're on very hard, you need almost every fucking capsule. 
but on the lower difficulty you go, the more shields you get back from the capsules. By the way, um, if you aren't getting the idea of 1, 2, 3, 4, listen to the music when the drums go away. That is when uh, the fourth one comes in. Also, quick turn. For empty boosts with Captain Falcon. I should have explained this on Chapter 1, sorry. But with empty boosts on Captain Falcon, every ship in this game, when you boost, makes a unique sound. It's super fucking quiet. But every ship makes a unique sound when they boost. Also, try to get the corners right there, but, you know, I didn't. And it's more important to hit even the first one mediocrely than it is to miss one and get the rest good. But, um, with Captain Falcon and boosting, when you boost, he's going to make a very low tone, very quiet. If you're wearing headphones and you hear it or you turn your speakers up, and boost, you're going to hear a little boop. Um, roughly, when that sound effect is fucking done, let go of the A button and tap it again. Um, it's it's weird, man, but you'll, you'll get it. Uh, but this stage, there really isn't much you can do on this stage. Uh, there's a few things, but... It's, it's, I don't know, man. Ah, that's weird. Anyways, uh, close your eyes. Close your eyes right now. Close them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Developers are a bunch of perverts. <laughs> uh, I really don't like this stage. So magic exists in this world. I don't fucking know. That's who I want to be most in real life, dude. I want to be like the... Like Mad Max, I want to be like the little guys who are on top of like the bungee springs on top of the... Like Mad Max... Like in Mad Max when they have like the little like bungee poles. And like they have people on top just like swinging around them with grenades. Like, <laughs> yeah! I want to be those guys so bad. I want to be the little freaks. The more freaky and abnormal and strange I can be, <laughs> the better. <laughs> Anyways, for this map, this is going to be a fucking tricky map, dude. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but if you crank down on both sticks uh, and turn, you'll lose a lot of speed, but you'll lose your grip. Let you turn a little bit quicker. Uh, really recommend getting into that shit. But when you're first playing, uh, there's two retired ships. And they're at the beginning right there. I meant to fucking lose my grip. But there's two retired ships. Those are the only two retired ships on this map. They are the beginning chump check. Pretty much whenever you see these here arrows... Crank down on both both things. Also right here, too. When you're first playing, this stage is going to be pretty rough. But look at the hang of it. Remember your training, Luke. Imagine if somebody named Luke was watching this. Well, okay, if, if your name is fucking Luke, like everyone is going to make a Star Wars reference. I'm just sorry to be the 3,000th one to do that. But, yeah, again, yeah, when you're first playing, just get through the map. Don't worry about it. Um, there really ain't much you can do. In terms of, like, advanced techniques. Um, I'll play again how I do it, but... When you're kind of learning this and you're losing your mind out of boredom... Uh, Again, whenever you see those yellow arrows, that's your cue to crank down on both of them. This is going to be tricky. Remember your feathering. Remember your feathering. Um, I 
I forgot what I was saying. Probably something about whatever. Dirt here. Boost. And then L and R. And then remember your boosts. You don't really need all of it. Should have plenty. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> a funny blind right turn. I would recommend just rocking the L, the R button. It's when you do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Remember your training, though, from Spongebob. You do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. And your shoes are looking cool. <laughs> God, I love Spongebob. Um, you can shave off maybe four seconds, but it's still a lot of fucking time. When you're practicing, uh, imagine it's like an F1 race. I don't know. I, I hate this fucking level. It's boring. Well, okay. I don't hate it. It's just boring. But, uh, tricks you can do. Let's go back into this shit. Uh, the harder difficulty you go, the more ships are in the way. And the higher your speed cap is. Oh, my back. Okay. Okay, so. It's gonna be a ship on your right. Don't get too close. Just don't get into the shoulder. No, sorry. On your left. See, I nicked it. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get this shit just right. Um, this is safe, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is safe. And then retired ship. And then on your right, retired ship. On the second boost plate, boost. And at the end of your boost, slide. Remember that the stick feathering can... Uh, the stick feathering can uh, control your trajectory. You can swoose in between those guys right there. Like, get between them and the wall. Obviously, it's a way tighter turn. But you can swoose in there. Don't really know how much speed, it, how much time it will save, but can do it. Oh yeah, later on, uh, don't... We're almost never gonna be using that LNR thing to, uh, do shit. We're gonna do that to engage... Uh, momentum throttle slides, but that's like one frame of doing that. Really get into the habit of quick turning. If you can quick turn, buddy, you can pretty much nail the entire game. Yeah, this is what I'm getting at. Like this stage is kind of <laughs> stage is kind of boring. Uh, feathering and staying close-ish to the walls. Staying close to optimal lines. Oh my god, this is literally the Nuremberg, Nuremberg ring. So here, I would recommend boosting. Uh, reason being is that there's two boosts kind of close to each other. So do another boost and try to preserve that speed as well as you can. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna empty and then boost. Empty. And not hit the wall, but then you would boost right here. You can uh, momentum slide right there and nail a boost. It is fucking hard, dude. It is so goddamn hard. And I hate sliding so much that I don't. Like, I've done it like once. And then I was just like, I'm fucking done. I ain't doing that shit ever again. So when you snap right here, boost. I would recommend boosting through it. I didn't do it as optimally, but that sudden chink, that's gonna lose a lot of your speed. You can kind of mitigate it by boosting when you nail it, while you are nailing it, not after. Like when you are nailing it, that's when you should boost. Oh boy. Okay, this is probably why you're here, dog. <laughs> this is probably why you're here. Um. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. This stage is goddamn impossible. Uh, 
Good luck. <laughs> um, things you can do though, uh, kill samurai. Oh, sorry, kill black bull. If you can feasibly, kill bloodhawk, and then you should be peaches and cream. But you're still gonna be pretty hard pressed. Um, but the only things I can really recommend is fucking killing two of the hardest to kill fuckers in the game I'd, I'd say the second hardest uh, but this stage is tricky um You can totally sneak in a fucking win if you just, at the very end of the stage, just beep. <laughs> you go way faster than you think you need. You can absolutely sneak in a win with a rail slide. Uh, but casually, it should probably look something like this. Even casually, I know I'm going to be having so much trouble. But Black Bull is right behind you, and he's going to get to your left, so... Just peruse your way to the left a little bit and then get ready to fucking nail him. See without seeing. Or use that, the timer, as your kind of like little guide. I see without seeing because I'm a fucking loser. And look where that got me. <laughs> and Do more than one, because he is not going to go down in just one or two hits. Oh, another thing that will save time. Stage one, or sorry, lap one. Your shields don't matter, dude. Don't think about them as a concept, man. Your shields don't matter. So scoot around this here lava. I actually wonder if I can do it just with doing that. Hang on. Black Bull, you live. Uh, if you want, you can back boost off him, but I'm not gonna. Shields don't matter. Shields don't matter. If you feather on the gla on the glass, ice, whatever, um, you're actually gonna be a little more sturdy than you think you are. Uh, yes, they do cheat. They are way faster than you. Sorry, I, I fucking quick turned. Sorry, as in the moment. Hang on. <laughs> Let me try this again. Now I'm like way more concentrated. I've never been more dialed in. <laughs> uh, the best thing I can say is much like when uh, driving cars in real life, if you're starting to lose control or lose grip, don't worry about it too much. Just let yourself get back into it. Uh, I would recommend boost wherever you dang well please. But here, one, two three. That's the three that I would recommend. Yeah, you're gonna need to do that shit. Also, you're gonna need to get, like, really laser focus on avoiding that lava. Don't empty. Don't empty, Austin. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Bitch! 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 <laughs> I'm trying to be cool here. Hey, I got him. Also, don't be afraid of hitting mines. I'll come. That's what we call in the business foreshadowing. Oops! Fuck me, running. Yeah, I let you have first place. Oh yeah, uh, lap one, go through the lava. Lap two, don't. 
your shields now have a purpose of being your boost. One, two, time three. I, I, I promise you, I'm not trying to do that. It just happens. I also didn't mean to do that either. It just also happened. Do you think that'll hold up in court? Him putting a bomb to my vehicle and false imprisoning me and handcuffing me will not hold up in court. Sorry, that will hold up in court. But, you know. <laughs> me premeditatively doing a side attack on him. That won't. See, with them gone, it ain't nothing. That should be the highest priority, but you don't have to. I bet you if they were around, I could have maybe won. Maybe. Um, if you do a rail slide, if you learn how to do a rail slide, you can sneak in a victory way more often than you think you can. But that is, don't worry, that is universally agreed to be the most difficult chapter in this game. <laughs> don't worry, you're fine. You aren't crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, they were just playing with a fucking mocap suit in this game, dude. It's great. You don't see this anymore. Motion capture folk, developers, whoever was piloting, they're just having fun. They're just having fun. Anyways, intermediate. Still recommend, we're still, well, okay, well, let's, let's try not. When you're first starting, if you can beat blood, uh, Black Hole, Black Hole, <laughs> you can be Black Hole and Bloodhawk. Uh, you pretty much got a W, just don't fall off, don't die. Intermediate, we're going to try to outrace him. Uh, and then, when you're speedrunning, don't even fucking bother with him. Uh, what would I recommend? Sliding? Uh, sliding and Mines, I think, are the two things that we should focus on. So, on this glass, this is a very tricky fucking slide right here. You can do that slide even more optimally by, like, holding the A button, right, R, and then side attacking to kind of, like, get more this way, and then go back to L and left to scoot more. Essentially, what you would be doing is you would be running out of left to go, so you would hold a, a sequence of buttons to give yourself more left. I don't like doing it. I think it looks very stupid, so I don't do it in my runs. However, um, with sliding on glass like this, um, you can... Thank you. Nah. With glass, you can feather the stick a little more. Like, I'm not cranking down. I'm just kind of feathering it. And it works out because I think weirdly the glass like helps preserve your speed in this weird situation. Then quick turns. Uh, we'll practice this right here in a little bit. Shift boosting here is, I would debate, the most difficult trick in the entire game. The difficult part of the run. Not in the entire game. There's way harder shit. CTT? Jesus Christ. But... Those two mines right there. Don't worry if you don't get it. It is weirdly fucking difficult to nail those mines, those two mines, in a way to where you get 2,000 speed. If you look down, when I nailed those two, I got 2,000 speed. If you get that, you want to immediately momentum throttle. Even if you get it like 1,400, you want to immediately momentum throttle. But 
nailing those two is also very important. You have to line yourself up in a strange way and nail it. Don't worry if you don't get it. It is fucking weird. Just keep trying. You'll get it. After you nail those two, Momentum Throttle, if you have 1,400 and decreasing, I would say immediately boost and then do a slide around this corner. Uh, if you get 2,000 like I got, I would not recommend sliding because you would lose a little bit of speed going into your next one. So I would recommend just Momentum Throttle and preserve it. So I got 2,000, so I'm just going to preserve it. By momentum throttling. Then when you get here, slide. You aren't full cranking down on the glass slide. You're just kind of feathering. My R is held down, but my stick is like being feathered. You're going to gain speed when you do hold R and do an input on the right on the stick. But you're gonna don't don't let go of R until you're done sliding. It's it's just just trust me. <laughs> Oh, I, for I even forgot to fucking do the thing. Whoops. That's all good. Even with just a few tricks, look at how far ahead I am. Oh, so here. Um, I'm going to boost two times. When I see the finish line and I start seeing the turn, that is when that is my visual cue to boost two times and then slide around the corner. One. Two. Slide. And here, slide again. One, two, empty turn, boost. And with the seeing without seeing thing, uh, I'm using that a lot to determine my speed for uh, if it's viable to uh, uh, empty or not. So, what was my time before? I think it was like 48. I knocked off 10, 10 fucking seconds, which is one or two little tricks. Awesome. To the point where I left those two fuckers in the dust. In the dirt. <laughs> my, good luck, dude. Good luck with this shit. We're going to be doing the same exact thing. I pretty much taught you everything you needed to know before the shift boosting. Now we're going to shift boost. I would recommend... Just doing one or two. I, I mean, just one. Just one. Shift boosting and, like, boost, like, being in a boost state does interact. When you are boosting, your steering, your grip, it all changes. And then when you get out of it, you no longer, you have a different set of settings. So, uh, try to really be mindful of how I do it. Or want my boost and boost state when I am doing the shift boost because it's all happening so fast I don't really know if I can like really break down what I'm doing but just keep that in mind Mr. Eid you're sexy fuck get out of here oh when you're first going by the way on your first time uh crank out those shift boosts. I like to... One, two, three. I would recommend just doing one, maybe two, if you're crazy. Uh, I need to get out of the habit of doing three, because I can't make that turn. Boost. And slide. That, by the way, is the thing I was talking about, where if you don't get enough speed off of those two mines, just boost once and engage a slide. One. Two. Empty turn, three. Boost plate, ship boost. One, two. So, turn. There it is. Two, slide. Really hope I'm conveying the little visual cue for the uh, finish slap thing. One, two, missed it, fuck it. The reason that is difficult is because uh, if you notice on chapter two, when I at least shift boost, I 
Like, you kind of need a lot of space to do it. At least how I do it. Um, so when you're on this tiny little narrow toothpick of a fucking stage and you need a shift boost, you gotta really, like, you gotta squeeze yourself in there. Possible. Super possible. I just rocked three of them. Um, but most important is don't die. Should have explained this on Chapter 2. But when you shift boost and you do one and your ship kind of like wobbles, it'll like, you'll go and then it'll kind of like bum 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 bum. I think what happens there... When you shift boost and your ship kind of goes like... Wum, 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 wum. I think what happens there is you didn't quite go off of the stage enough. Like, just a little bit of your ship was on stage. So when you come back, the game was like, you're still off stage, right? Oh no, you're on. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Pretty much you weren't bold enough. You're a little bit reserved. When you shift boost and you come back on stage and like your ship has lost all grip and it's facing this way and you're probably going to fucking fly off stage. I think what happened there is you were holding one of the... Like, I think what happened is your, your LNRs were a little bit too close together. As in for a little bit of time, L and R were held at the same time. Uh, and when you come back on stage, the game is like, oh, you're holding both L and R, so you want to lose your grip, right? And you'll just lose your grip and then fly off. I think that is what is happening when you shift boost and those two things happen, because I was fucking super frustrated with that. I didn't want to know what was going on, and uh, I tried asking, and people were like, we can't exactly tell, like, we need, like, input display. And I couldn't figure that shit out. But I am pretty goddamn sure that's what's happening. I know, uh, by the way, F-Zero Central Discord, if you need any fucking advice on any F-Zero game. F-Zero Climax, F-Zero Classic, F-Zero Central. Not affiliated, it's just that's where everyone fucking goes. <laughs> uh, and our fucking, like, legendary runner and our fucking bookkeeper... AKC. I've been waiting for you. Did you yeah, that's a goddamn li He's a library of a man. And he can also apply that shit, too. You gotta see his runs. Anyways. Uh, but with shift boosting, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Um, God, this game is fucking ridiculous. So, Falcon is learning that, like, the devil exists... The universe is about to be fucking turned into mush for no reason, just because somebody wants to kill it because he's bored. And like everything is every like time, existence, being is on the line here. And the only thing Falcon is fucking concerned about is this shit right here. He's like, hold, hold, hold up, you're gonna beat me in a race? <laughs> you fucking right, nerd. I ended up sitting on my leg, sorry. Um, God, the story of this game is great. Great. <laughs> it's like a Sunday cartoon, you know? It's just... The stakes are there, but it's presented goofy. And then the cool part of the cartoon, where the fighting is happening, that's where you get to play. Uh, I don't know why, dude, but this stage is Choke City. You're, I, this is where a lot of people choke. Don't know why. But there are mines, and uh, when you are speedrunning, they're going to be your best friend. But when you're playing casually, you have to figure out where all of them are and shit, and they will knock you right off. Oh, yeah, lap one, you were going to be uh, in second place. You remember Whizpig from uh, Diddy Kong Racing? You remember how he was constantly faster than you? But when you were boosting, you were faster than him? Imagine that. I think cranking down on both L and R is the ticket. Oh yeah, uh... There's enough... There's enough boost plates around that to where you can... 
Get a little more liberal with your boosts. Also, with feathering, uh, keep in mind that you can feather the L and R buttons. They are analog, after all. Whoops. That's fine. That corner right there, don't even bother. Like, you're going to hit it. But yeah, look at how far ahead of him. I'm playing casually. Sort of casually. I'm playing casually. Uh, and look how far ahead I am. Like, was big. This is just. This is just a. He's just a big old bully. Hmm. It's not so tough. Whoops! Whoops! Oh yeah, those mines can just fling you right off the stage, so be super careful. Nothing, you're nothing. Get out of here, chump. After chapter seven, you get that, and it's like a weird breath of fresh air. <laughs> Looks like he drove off himself. I don't know, whatever. Music. God, look at his ass. Also, there's a scene where you're going to see his fucking bulge, dude. That is a gentlemanly bulge. I spend a lot of time looking at male characters' cocks. Look at this shit. Look, look. Look. Hang on. Look, look, look. Bam. That is a fucking gentlemanly bulge, I'd say. It's enough to let you know that he's got something there, but it's not overwhelming. Look at that and you go, yeah. Enough talking about dicks. <laughs> Let's get back to speedrunning. Um, quick turning. No, okay. You know momentum throttle boosting? That little thing where you let go of the A button and then you boost and you hit the A button at the same time kind of thing? You're going to learn now that there's times where you should and shouldn't do that shit. Because when you... Uh, how do I explain this? I think I know how I can explain this pretty well. So. When you let go of the A button. when you Okay. When you're holding the A button, your grip kind of changes. Cool. Sweet. Epic. We all know that. When you let go of the A button, your boost kind, your grip kind of changes. Cool. Epic. We all know that. When you tap, when you aren't holding the A button and you tap it, and engage your booster again, your grip changes from that to that. So, when you are quick turning, uh, you're, when you're quick turning, and you do that, when you are not holding the A button and then you hold it again, you're going to change. Look, holding, boost, quick turning. Cool, epic, I made it. When you aren't holding the A button, it's going to look like pretty much exactly the same. I do very well with the visual explanations, so I'm sorry if, like, this is fucking worthless knowledge to you. Cool. Epic. Did it. Um, sorry, I do very well with visual explanations, so I'm sorry if this is worthless or padding for time. I am sorry. Um, but when I tap the A button to keep a momentum throttle boost you're going to see that I lose it. So what happened there is I engaged that quick turn. I let go of the A button to preserve my momentum throttle boost. And uh, I lost my quick turn because my physics changed from my turning and my boosting. So in this situation, if I really want to keep myself perusing, I'm going to do the technically inoptimal thing and I'm going to just... Hold the A button while I quick turn. Preserve my quick turn just fine. And I kept my speed up. So. There's a few points on this stage to where you have to unlearn that and just keep yourself 
you do not do your momentum throttle boosting. Just hold the A button and boost. Um... Uh, it's a lot to lot to learn here, but just pick pick like a stage or two and then rock it. Also, how you how you should learn is you know play the game casually for a little bit, just peruse, have fun. You know, it's a great game. Uh, and then just look at a trick or look at a look at a stage and be like, what do I suck at? Well, I suck at the mines. I always get super locked up with them. Okay, so I'm going to practice mines. The next, whenever you want to play. Okay, what do I suck at? Well, momentum throttle slides are really lame. I hate them. Okay, so I'm going to practice some momentum throttle slides. What do you suck at? Those? Okay, rock them. That's how I'd recommend like approaching learning this game. Don't just like pick... That'll happen. Even on casual, that'll happen. Um, it's just... You know, what do I suck at? That. Okay, rocket. And this game is open enough to where, like, you can, uh, you can, like, omit tricks. Not as optimal. If you want to be top of the food chain, you need to rock everything, but. If you're worried about, you know, being top of the food chain, then you aren't worried about a trick that looks lame. But if you want to play this game how you want to play it, and you think, uh, I don't know, you think, uh, whatever looks lame, then fuck it. Do without it. There is a trick here that you can do that I'm omitting because I can't, I, <laughs> I don't like how it looks, so I don't do it. It is a slide into a quick turn. When I'm done with my little peruse here, actually, I think I can rock it right now. Lava takes your shields way more than you think it does, so be careful with that. Slide here. Whoops. Don't hit the wall, because you're going to lose a fuck ton of speed, but... If you can, slide right there. Boost slide right there. If you're doing this stage well, like I am not, you can rock the whole stage with uh, wall maintaining a boost, but been nailing one too many walls. And I don't think I even got off an area with maximum shields. Here you should, like at that little lava patch area, you should empty just for a little bit. Oops, god damn it. 155 is like a pretty damn good par. 158 is just, I'd say, a bogey. I played Mario Golf and everybody's golf a lot. I'm not a golfer in real life. I kind of am. I like mini golf. And uh, top golf is fun, but I ain't, uh, I ain't much of a golfer. Anyways, so let me see if I can't uh, do the optimal thing around the turn at the end. Uh, I'm getting nervous. It's a it's essentially a quick turn at the end, and then you quick turn out of it, and then turn your boost back on or turn your A button back on. And I think you do it on. Now you can do it chapter one, right? Yeah, because there's mines. You can get your speed up, right? Now I'm, like, questioning everything I know. <laughs> Again, chapter, uh, stage one. Lap one. Your, uh, shields don't matter, so just kind of barrel right through that shit. Also, if you can, really get into the habit of MT those mines. Okay, so you cannot do it stage one. <laughs> if you aren't in a quick turn and you want to be like that, hold what you're doing and then just gingerly tap that button and you should engage your quick turn. The 
quick turning is a weird thing where, like, technically speaking, you are losing grip. I don't know, man. This game's fucking weird. It's a goddamn modified monkey ball engine. Okay, fuck that trick. Watch fucking Arful Hobbs. <laughs> watch anybody. Like, watch CGN, Arful Hobbs, anybody. I fucking hate that trick. This stage. This is going to be the nerve racker when... I would say in all corners of playing this game, it's going to be the nerves. Um, there's absolutely no stage, no walls on this map. Everything is no stage. Rainbow Road from Super Mario Kart. Um, it's just the nerves, man. It's just the nerves. You're way faster than the staff ghost. It's just you falling off. That's the thing that's scary. Uh, again, going back to this game of story mode being beautiful, uh, Falcon is currently learning that God exists and he's talking with them. Uh, they're going to rip out his soul and cause havoc and destruction with Captain Falcon's body tarnishing and destroying his legacy that he has to hold up and maintain. Falcon, Captain Falcon is a title. And his only response to all this knowledge is this. Like, <laughs> he doesn't give a single five. like, God, okay, whatever, cool, I don't give a shit about that. You think you could beat me in a fucking race, dog? Uh, that's his only concern. Whatever. <laughs> Anywho's, uh, remember your training with the L and R's. That's the only thing I'm gonna say is holding the L and R when you're first playing. Uh, and and the words of Umanaka. Good luck and drive fast. Okay, you don't even need to drive that fast. Like this guy's pretty slow. But you're going to fall off a lot here, man. Don't worry about it. I'd say if the turn looks scary like this one, yeah, crank down both. And then at the top of this here, little spiral, this little poop spiral. Right about here. When you see... Uh, when you see the top of the track... <coughs> when you cross the top of the track, <coughs> that's when I'd recommend... Uh, probably cranking down on both you just gotta feel it i'm playing i'm trying to play casually and i fucking fell off too it's gonna happen when you play when you speed run this game and you're pretty damn good at it i'm not pretty damn good i got a lot to learn myself but when you're able to shift boost on this map uh <laughs> you're still gonna fall off there's a lot of let's say just tricky dicky There is a lot of tricks you can do right here, but right now, just worry about closing it out. Oop. <laughs> it ain't over until it says it's over. Uh, there's only one real spot you can... There's no boost plates. There's no shields other than over there, so... Where you boost doesn't particularly matter that much. Just make sure you don't boost off the side. If there's nowhere to like preserve and maintain your speed, then it doesn't exactly matter where you boost at a casual level. When you get a little more advanced, it, there's like spots where you should and shouldn't boost, but when you're first playing, dude, don't worry about it. The, the music doesn't help uh, calm your nerves, but just, just to make calm, you can honestly just fucking cruise through this fucking stage. You can also fall off like an idiot. Um, yeah, I'd say that's good enough. Um, 
they're honestly okay hang on there is a thing we can learn before we start shift boosting uh it involves i would say chapter two oh sorry lap two is where we should be starting to do it first off quick turning quick turning is going to help way more it'll help you fall off the stage um but quick turning Uh, quick turning, and it involves a a slide, and it involves some side attacks. I don't know if you can do it without side attacks. Probably yes, but I'm too much of a of a <laughs> pussy to try it out. Involves a slide right around here. And it's going to be this big old, big old jump dive right here. Quick turn, quick turn. Oh, and there's something else you can do too if you want to be really epic. I'll tell you about that when I get there. Okay, so we're going to boost when we get to the top of that jump. Slide pretty much off of the stage. We're going to try to get off the top right of the stage. Not the right, just the top right. And then... Check the shit out, check the shit out. Top right. When we land, we, we're going to be fucking everywhere. So, quick turn. <laughs> can't actually do it on chapter one let me just do some shift boost to get my speed just a little bit up when you're learning don't do this just when you're learning don't do the shift boosts before this just learn how to do the jump and where you should be facing and everything then you can do the shift boosts this jump can be a little tricky but it's nowhere near as hard as the chapter three jump And then also right here. Beep. One sixty nine. Nice, nice. That reminds me of that, of that <laughs> thing where you blow a lady. If I can't do this shit again. Boosty, boosty, boosty. Top right. Hey. Bada bing. Know what I'm saying? Uh, so, with the first turn run, after you do the thing, don't worry about sliding. You're going to fall off. Just try to land and contain yourself because you're going to be, when you, after that jump, you're going to be fucking sliding everywhere. And then on the second one, it's pretty much viable anywhere if you have a decent amount of speed to slide. You can also R off of the side of the map before the turn and cut the corner. A lot's a lot more tricky, but uh, and I, I think it's just a little bit, a little bit more viable to use the corner to gain speed rather than shut cut the corner and risk falling off this stage is risk and reward and <laughs> you'll uh you're gonna fall off a lot everyone does these things happen Uh, that, by the way, is just focused on getting your shields back. Don't worry about too much. We're going to see the, the 
we're going to talk do the finishing thoughts when we're done um but now that you roughly have the jump down and the quick turning and the sliding we're going to start incorporating shift boosts this stage is a little more not crazy when it comes to shift boosts but it's still fucking crazy um there's dedicated parts where you can and can't shift boost or it's not viable to you can but it's not viable watch type cgn crazy game nerd chapter 9 world record and you can shift boost fucking anywhere you goddamn please but right now we're just gonna focus on doing them in like the places where you absolutely can squeeze them in at the beginning wait a little bit and get four you're gonna be going slow so it's gonna be way harder <laughs> One, two, three, four. And then right here, two. One. Well. I did the I did the speed slide thing. If you aren't going fast, uh you can slide there. And try to squeeze in one right here if you can, but that's you're gonna fall off probably. It's a weird angle. Um but if you aren't going that fast, do that. Or do the little slide. If you have a lot of speed and you're carrying it. There aren't a lot of times where it's better just to preserve your speed, but you can also fall off if you're going too fast and slide right there. So just worry about, just worry about uh, not falling off. Then you can squeeze in about three right there um, if you don't fall off. <laughs> this game is hard. <laughs> One. Two, three. I missed one, so it's fine. Whoops. Normally you can squeeze in about three, but... Right here you can rock maybe two or three. One, two, three. Jump slide. Get yourself. Right here. Bada bing. After you do that jump, the first jump, and you land down. Fuck. After you do that first jump, if you're feeling fucking frisky, you can do another shift boost. And it's somewhat safe because if you miss it, you have enough speed to where you can just land on the platform below you. But if you get it... <laughs> You can be going so fast that your quick turning will not save you. So it is just if you spray painted your teeth silver. Around the, yeah, around here you can squeeze in a few more if you're feeling super frisky, but. Again, watch CGN's world record on this map and you can go wherever you fucking please. But when you're on, you know, world record pace or when you're playing shift boosting at this corner right here which cgn does you know it's tempting but <laughs> you're gonna fall off see right there i was i went down going a little slow and i was also feeling a little spicy so fuck me around that happened that's gonna happen a lot the speed slides it happens to me you can see like when you do shit the developers did not intend, weird things start happening. Okay, well they sort of intended it. I think they were aware of shift boosting. Yeah, I think they were aware of shift boosting in this game. And they took one look at it. We like to believe that they said, fuck it, leave it in, it looks cool. But they probably looked at it and then looked at all the code attached to it and then looked at the calendar and saw there was like a one week left in development and they were like, I, I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> we have so little time. But honestly though, wouldn't have it any other way. Normally I do three right there. Uh, 
when you're on... I think you probably just want to visually inspect when I'm shift boosting, when I'm in momentum throttling. Here, try to maintain at least two boosts and squeeze in one shift boost. I think I'm getting into some bad habits where I'm, like, not using my boost to its full potential. Because I notice I am, like, leaving a few... Just a little bit of HP. When I uh, get to the recharge plate. out under two minutes poggers but <sighs> that is as far as i can as well as i can explain a slight tutorial on this map on this game where you should start how it should look when you start how it should look when you're starting to introduce one or two little fancy things uh captain falcon's succulent fucking ass mm. Uh, and also how you should be playing when you, well, what it should look like when you start getting yourself rolling, start incorporating everything. Um, with all of the tutorial and everything I gave, all of the guides and tips that not only me, but everyone else who speedruns this game can give you, the only real way to jump in is to get the game... Do not fucking play on an Xbox controller. It needs to be this. Um, would recommend a console. You can play this on uh, GameCube, Wii. I don't think you can play it on Switch. But or sorry, uh, fucking Wii U. Uh, I will leave obtaining a copy of this game to you. I have a disc of this game. Uh, wink. Uh, but when you're first starting playing this game, I would recommend just having some good fun with it, having some giggles, having some gaffes, just having a good time with the game. See if it's something that you want to get into. This game is a fucking spectator sport. Like, even if you hand, like, even if you play casually. People will be like, whoa, this game's fucking fast, dude. This game's crazy. And when you start incorporating just one or two little things, you're going to be going way faster. It's going to look way cooler. And when you go full hog, buddy, <laughs> you can bring this to a party and people will be excited to watch you play. Um, but would recommend just playing casually if you want to get into this game. Uh, F-Zero Central. Join that Discord just for some good blessings, some starts and everything. Uh, then uh, start incorporating just one or two little things. You know, just, just pick, a, pick a trick. Starting to get into it a little bit. Try incorporating it in optimal good spots. That makes sense. I guess first you would just be incorporating it into your everyday play. Then you would try to figure out how to incorporate it optimally. Um, when you look at Nigleria's tips... He's giving you the tools, and then if you want to play Meteor Shower, there really isn't much of a guide on how to do Meteor Shower. It's just somebody playing it, and then you just kind of copy what they do. And if you want to incorporate another thing or do something a little fancy here, go for it. But for the most part, you are kind of on your own when it comes to what you want to do, how you want to do it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and story mode, you're kind of even more on your own because this category is kind of whack um but uh do hope that uh this was able to get somebody off the ground a little bit um but yeah think that'll be it for the stream just kind of wanted to do a quick little tutorial stream um i probably won't be checking the comments <laughs> 
because uh, I'm really bad at that, even with my friends. On Discord, they will message me, and I will forget to fucking message them back for, like, <laughs> a few hours. <laughs> so, uh, not really the most, uh, I look like a fucking, uh, I look like a freak. Um, probably just, uh, I stream, uh, if you want, just jump in there and talk with me. I really need to figure out a better lighting situation because this is fucking blinding. Anyways, um, I stream. Anybody else who streams this game is super kind and nice. Uh, Artful Hobbs will tell you everything you need to know. Uh, anybody else who streams and plays decently, I know I do. I stream. I don't play decently. You fucking saw. I play like shit. <laughs> um, it's a bunch of tutorials, a bunch of guides. You can just ping anybody in the Discord and they'll respond. Um... But I think that's everything. Uh, I'm going to skeet out a lot of here. I got a bunch of stuff to do. But uh, hope somebody was able to learn something from this.